英国的时期，开了做 private rooms， 提高 private school。So here another lesson of calculus, double and triple integration. So for this, so for the past few lessons, we have proven that the volume of a circle is four over three pi r cube, right? And we used eight methods. But for this lesson, we'll be revising on our analytical geometry on the equations. Of straight lines. So for the equations of straight line over here, it can only be straight line, not curves yet. So the reason why we need to first revise this is that in future lessons for this part, Hunt will be needing will need to use these equations. Okay. So over here, these equations. What are first? First one. Our first one is the slope-intercept form. So the slope-intercept form is basically that over here, for this part, here intercept for here. That's why I call the slope-intercept form. So basically, there's this slope over here, and then it intercepts. So it is basically y equals m x plus c. What is m? M is basically the gradient, specifically negative there, and you also can say it as the slope, because what is M actually? Not the step, okay, the slope. So what's basically the M? So the M is basically the how much did this part tilt, okay? The one is the C. It is the interception with the y-axis. Like this. Okay. All right. So for this part, what is m? How do you find m? So m, you can find it easily by. The rise in y over the run in x. Okay, so this is what I mean. Over here, you have this slope over here, right? Yes, you have one. And then here are your two points. And then what? What's the rise in y? So over here for this part, I'm not going to like you know. We're not going to talk about triangles, but for these two, name this x and name this y. So what's the? Okay, so I think I should change it, change the name in case you get confused. A and B. So what is the rise in y? The rise in y is basically this. And what is the run in x? This is basically the run in x. So basically, over here, that you can just draw this part down. How like if these two are the uh, points, you can find the run in x and the rise in y. Okay, all right. So I'll show you how to do this. So this part, whereas it will become the next one. It is the two points form. The two point form is basically that over here there must be two points over here. So this, okay, let me just erase this. Okay, so over here the two points are basically that over here these the first point and over here x. Two y two, and after that here is m become x one y one, and then this part how it does the p for the x and y right? But wait, what's so special about this? Anyways, you can really find the m by using this part. So y minus y. One over x minus x one also equals to 
So basically over here you're gonna read everyone. The after that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Over here. But wait, what's so special about this one? These two are fixed over here, okay? But what's so special about the this part? This part it gets a point on this line, it must be on this line. It can be any point on this line, okay? But these two points must be fixed. This, you can put it anywhere you want. Okay? That's one thing that you need to note. And what is basically the uh, rise in y? Basically the y minus y1. And also, it also, okay, so over here for this part, how since is your over, so basically the for here, the ratio is actually the same. So, that's why no matter which two points, so over here I need to say, then no matter which two points you use, so it's either this one or this one, they'll be equal when you put the right in Y over the right in X. Okay? So this is basically the M, okay? Um, okay. Um, let me just change it. Okay? And now for the next one. Over here, the two intercepts form. So now not this part anymore. Okay. So over here for this part. <coughs> is that over here this graph. This. You have these two points. But there's one thing special about these two points. So X and Y. Oh. But what's so special about these two points that I'm mentioning? The special thing about these two points that I'm mentioning isn't like the one before. This one, it can be anywhere on this line, okay? But for this one, it is saying that these two must be on intercepting. This is why it is the two intercept, but just now it's just two points, okay? So, it, this part... And over here, like this, okay? So, over here, what's so special now? The special thing is that now you can straight away know that this is basically A and this is basically B, okay? So, over here, how is just that? Over, what for the X? The X over, X over what? X over A. So, this part is A, okay? x over a plus y over b is equals to 1. Okay? So, x over y plus y over b, so that's why the height b is equals to 1. Okay? Alright, so basically over here, for this part is that they purposely put it at these two points and also these two points on the the y over this part and the x over this part it is equals to one and just one okay but what if i don't like to see these fractions i don't like fractions i completely don't like fractions then we have another way of writing it basically the general form the general form just general, okay? So, this part, okay, any point, okay, and that's why we didn't specify on the points here. So, yeah. Okay. So, for this part, the general form is that, okay, take it as, no one likes, okay, so obviously you wouldn't be thinking about changing this to, to decimals. First of all, it is more confusing. Second of all, it is more complicated. Now, over here for this part, whole number is the best, right? Be like, you don't see 
fifth fractions everywhere compared to whole numbers. So whole over here whole numbers well simple. I mean B Y not B C and C is equal to zero. Okay, all right. So basically, over here the A X, the B Y and the C. Okay, so over here is that this you can call it the general form, or you also can call it the <coughs> you also can call it the standard form. Because usually we will generally write it like this, okay? So, for this part, the first one that we said about was this. Basically, the slope intercept form. And then after that, we said about the two points form, whereas it is over here. So, this is the slope intercept form, and then this the y is m. And then this is the two points form, and then after that, this it is the two intercept form, and then this is basically the general form, also known as the standard form. Okay, so let me just tell over here, obviously general. Well, for this part, is that it must be on, it must intercept. Well, these are just two fixed points, and then if one no middle point there, then yeah, it can be anywhere. And this part is basically the equation for every single straight line. So for this lesson, we'll be ending it here. Last but not least, thank you for your watching.